Okay, so today uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the foods that I encountered and saw on my uh, trip to the Amazon jungle in 2011. Um, and just to, uh, so that people don't get all freaked out and angry, um, like I'm not saying that this is like authentic, like Peruvian cuisine or anything, it's just what I encountered when I was in the jungle and uh, what I encountered around the region of Iquitos, um, both, you know, uh, prepared in a, a couple different restaurant settings and also uh, prepared by some natives out in the middle of the Amazon jungle. So, I mean, I don't know if this is traditional food or what, but it is what I encountered when I went there in 2011. So just a little bit of background on the trip. Uh, I went to uh, Peru to the Amazon jungle in uh, May of 2012 as part of a little survival trip because I, you know, didn't have a lot of experience in, you know, jungle environment and I kind of wanted to get a little bit more. And so I boarded a plane in Iowa and uh, ended up in the Atlanta airport, changed some currency there and then flew on down to Lima and in Lima waited a little bit longer and got on a little puddle jumper up to Iquitos. Now Iquitos is the largest city in the world that is only accessible by air or water. There are no roads to Iquitos. So uh, once, once I got to Iquitos I had a day free to kind of explore the area and kind of learn a little bit about Iquitos and see some different things. Uh, one of the things I did was I took a trip uh, actually out into the Amazon on a little putt-putt boat and uh, saw some, you know, saw how they live. They have floating houses where um, they build on the riverbank and then the river rises at a certain time of year and the houses rise with it also saw a uh, floating discotheque, which was kind of neat. And there's a real uh, famous and somewhat dangerous uh, uh, market in uh, Peru that I walked through and saw a little bit of. Kind of a neat place. Uh, and uh, got some lunch. And uh, one of the things they served at lunch was a dish called suri. And suri are basically grubs that they you go and you crack them out of a log. And uh, the suri that they were serving in this restaurant thing were like uh, grilled over a uh, charcoal fire on little skewers. And those are, they taste a lot better that way than they do like just picking them out of a log and eating them. Then they had a couple different uh, sauces that they served with it. And as near as I can tell, they were onion sauces. There was a red onion sauce that was kind of a uh, little bit spicy. And they have a, a pepper in uh, Peru, a, a yellow pepper. I think it's called the Aji. A-J-I is the way it's spelled. I may be pronouncing it wrong. And then they had another sauce that was with uh, white onions. And they tasted pretty similar with some mi minor differences. Another uh, real big uh, cuisine that they have up there that's real traditional, at least for that part of Peru, is uh, called Juanes. It's spelled uh, J-A-U-N-E-S. Anyway, uh, they take a banana leaf and they have some rice and uh, like a piece of chicken and an olive. And they wrap all of that up in this banana leaf and they steam it. And uh, it's supposed to be like the head of uh, John the Baptist or something or some John character that was real important in, in uh, you know a missionary in uh, Peruvian um, culture at least around Iquitos and so apparently they um, have these Juanes to kind of celebrate him and I ate quite a few of those little suckers when I was in uh, in that region. I think they are pretty well endemic. Um, then I, that night I went down to a little square down uh, in Iquitos where they have the military parades and things and uh, 
on the, I guess you'd say the west side of that square, there's a little restaurant there. And uh, I went in there to get some food. And um, the kind of the, the big specialty of that place is they have uh, like uh, grilled chicken and uh, fried rice and a vegetable salad. Um, the grilled chicken is easy to do and I ended up doing that a bunch of different times in the jungle. Um, so I'm going to kind of show how to do that. Uh, also the vegetable salad, that was everywhere. Everywhere that I ate they had this. And it's basically mixed vegetables and it varied um, what they had depending on what you had. And I even made it in the middle of the jungle. Um, we found a vegetable garden and um, kind of uh, ate some of the vegetables from that vegetable garden and basically chopped it up with a machete so I call this machete salad um, but it's uh, it, it's got uh, um, veg fresh vegetables a little salt a uh, little uh, I think sesame oil or something like that in there and then some vinegar uh, rice wine vinegar and I'll show how to make that uh, the other thing that is huge in uh, at least around in Quitos and the surrounding jungle areas is fried rice and they love it. It's, it's everywhere. Every place I went had uh, little fried rice. Like even on the streets they'd have like a lady with a walk and serving fried rice and people would buy that any, all times a day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to show how to make a version of fried rice. Pretty much all of this food that I, I'm going to show, um, you can. I actually ate in the jungle, um, cooked by one time by a native lady just over an open fire, um, and she made a bunch of good stuff. One of the things I like that she made is just rice and beans. Then she had some uh, tomatoes and avocados in there. Um, really, really tasty food. It's all easy to make. Now for the chicken, uh, how we did it was we, we got a, a couple chickens we bought from this village and these are old, gamey, jungle ass chickens. I mean they must have picked the oldest chicken they'd ever seen because I've never eaten meat like that. I mean I, I literally had to cut it off the bone with a knife, it was so tough. Um, but we, we cooked it by uh, uh, making a, a a grill out of sticks, uh, just green sticks, and then putting coals down and just kind of roasting it over those coals on, on the, the grill that we made. Uh, and, and how I make that nowadays is I just take the chicken and I put a little soy sauce on it, uh, a little bit of salt, and uh, a little bit of oil. Uh, I like the way sesame oil tastes on it, so I use that. And I let that marinate a few hours and then throw it on the grill. Really easy, really simple, super tasty to make. For the machete salad, um, I'm going to make the version that I had in that restaurant on the west side of that uh, square in Iquitos. And it basically had uh, snow peas, uh, green beans, um, let's see, pickled beets, and it had a big white corn. Uh, that I think is native to Peru, but the closest thing I can find it tastes exactly like it is white hominy So I'm going to use that Had cucumbers a little broccoli in there and basically you you mix up a bunch of different vegetables and I'm going to show that and uh, you, you put uh, some uh, Rice wine vinegar a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and uh, I like it with a little bit of sesame oil over it And it's really good Now everybody and their dog has a version of fried rice uh, and most of the fried rice that I saw in um, Peru, whether it be in the jungle or uh, in Tamashaku or in uh, um, Iquitos itself, involved uh, rice, chicken and eggs and a little bit of soy sauce and maybe some green onions. There was not a lot of extra stuff in there um, and it was pretty bland but really, really tasty. And uh, the last, one of my last nights in Peru was at uh, uh, Tamashaku and uh, the ladies in the town there uh, laid out a big spread for us with juanes and uh, 
fried rice and they had some sort of a pasta like their version of spaghetti and meatballs or something and uh, I mean it was really good so I'm gonna show how to make the fried rice and I just use uh, I make it in a wok and I use uh, uh, just prepare it, you know, I, I cook up some white rice ahead of time. Then in the wok, I fry up uh, some, uh, or I scramble up some eggs. And uh, then I uh, add a little ham to that. Um, I don't have any, like, leftover chicken to use, so I'm going to use ham. And then uh, you put the rice in and you stir everything up real well. Uh, add in some chopped green onions as well. And... Uh, some soy sauce and you just I just go by color and then uh, I taste it and if it needs a little bit more salt I add a little bit more salt I'm gonna try to uh, recreate that red onion salsa by finely dicing up some red onions uh, and I'm gonna add a mixture of uh, uh, lemon juice and uh, rice wine vinegar and water I'm going to let that stuff soak in there and I'm going to add a little cilantro and a little uh, crushed red pepper because I don't have any of those Peruvian peppers. Uh, I'm also going to try to recreate the uh, the other onion, the white onion salsa that they had. And to do that I'm going to add a uh, little onion, a little um, lemon juice, a little uh, lemon or uh, little lemon juice, a little rice wine vinegar, and uh, uh, water, and then uh, again with a little bit of crushed red pepper, I'm going to add some turmeric because uh, um, it was yellower than it should have been, and I think they added turmeric to the, the batch that I tasted. Those are a few of the foods that I saw when I was in uh, um, the Amazon jungle. I'm uh, about six weeks away from heading back there and I'm going to pay real close attention and see uh, what else I can see down there. Two things I did not mention are uh, we had some alligator and some some jungle rat. I, I think they called it paca but they uh, they take the the uh, alligator and the rat and I even had some armadillo and they they barbecue it and it's uh, it's actually smoked. It, it tastes uh, really smoky, like the, the armadillo and the jungle rat both tasted like pulled pork. Uh, and it, you would not know the difference if I served it to you. It tastes exactly like pulled pork in the United States. Um, and the uh, alligator, now that tasted like exactly like smoked chicken. And it was delicious. So uh, I'm gonna, when I go down to the Amazon in uh, about six weeks here, I'm going to pay real close attention to the food and see what else I can bring you back.